Look, today we're going to continue with lesson 211, <clears throat> problem solving, comparing numbers. And so how can we make a model to solve a problem about comparing numbers? So for instance, children bought 217 boxes of chocolate milk and 188 boxes of plain milk. Did they buy more boxes of chocolate milk or plain milk? Okay, now some of you may look at that number and already immediately know which one was more. But in this lesson, we're practicing making models, in a sense, to prove that we're right. So what do I need to find if I had to uh, what we call unlock the problem? So we have to find out, did they buy more boxes of chocolate milk or plain milk? So I'm going to go ahead and trace what was written. So I'm trying to find which one was more, boxes of chocolate milk or plain milk. And what information do I need to use? Well, I know that there's 217 boxes of chocolate milk and 108 boxes, 88 boxes of plain milk. So. All right. So again, now the, the point of this lesson is to draw models. So if I had um, hundred models and ten rods and and uh, one blocks, I could I could set it out like this. But I can also use a quick picture. So two hundred would be represented with two squares. 110 would be a straight line, and seven ones would be seven circles. All right, and then for 188, we would have 100 block. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten blocks, and we'd have eight ones. All right. Now, when we compare numbers, we want to go with the largest value in the number. Well, in 217, the hundreds are the largest. In 188, the largest digit is the hundreds or the one, right? Well, just by comparing the hundreds, I can see which one is more. This one has 200. This one only has 100. So there's clearly more boxes of chocolate milk. All right, let's go to page 98. <clears throat> All right, model the numbers and draw quick pictures to show how you solve the problem. Remember, keep in mind, what do I need to find? What's the question asking me? And what information do I need to use? What important numbers do I need to know? So at the zoo, there are 137 birds and 142 reptiles. Are there more birds or more reptiles? So that's what I need to find, right? I need to find out, are there more birds or more reptiles? So I'm gonna circle that there's 137 birds. I'm gonna circle that there's 142 reptiles. So I'm gonna draw a quick picture for the birds. 100 would be one square. 30 would be represented by three tens and seven ones. So that's 137 for the birds. Now the reptiles, 142. All right, <clears throat> and again, the greatest number or greatest value in 137 is 100. In 142, the greatest value is 100. But you notice that they're both 100, right? So we have to go to the next largest value. So we have 30 or three tens in the birds, and we have four tens in the reptiles. So there's more tens in the reptiles. So so 142 is larger than 137. All right, let's look at number two. Tom's book has 105 pages. Delia's book has 109 pages. 
whose book has fewer pages. Fewer. That's the same as saying less. Which one has less? So make sure you're reading the question carefully. All right, so Tom, I would represent that with 100 block. There are no tens, but there are five ones. All right. Delia also has 100. She also does not have any tens, but she has nine ones. All right. <clears throat> So we want the number that is the smallest value this time. So 100, 100, they're both the same, right? All right, here we have two, four, five ones and nine ones. Which one is less or fewer? Tom's, right? Okay, so 105 is less than 109. All right, let's go to page 99. <clears throat> Again, model the numbers and draw quick pictures to, to show how you solve the problem. Mary's puzzle has 164 pieces. Jake's puzzle has 180 pieces. Whose puzzle has more pieces? So which number is largest, right? So I'm going to identify Mary. I'm going to say that she has 100 block. She has six tens. And she has four ones. So 164. Jake also has one 100. He has eight tens. And he doesn't have any ones, so we're not going to write anything next to it. So 180 versus 164. All right, so we're trying to find which one is the greatest or which one has more pieces. Mm -hmm. So let's start with 100 because that's the greatest value. Eh, the same, so that doesn't help me. So I have to go to the next greatest value, 60 and 80. Six tens is less than eight tens. So Jake's puzzle has more pieces. Number four, there are 246 people at the game. <clears throat> There are 251 people at the museum. At which place are there fewer people? Fewer people. So I wanted the one that is less. So I'm going to say game. I'm going to draw a quick picture. So we have 246 people at the game. I'm going to identify the next one as museum. And there's 251 people at the museum. All right, we want the number that is fewer. So we want the value 246 versus 251. Which one is smaller, less? Okay, so 200, 200, that's exactly the same, right? So that doesn't help you find out which one is fewer. Here we have four tens, here we have five tens. So this one is more, right? So that means this is fewer. So there's fewer people at the game. Number five, there are 131 crayons in a box. There are 108 crayons in a bag. Are there more crayons in the box or in the bag? <clears throat> so quick picture for the ones that are in a box, 131. Those in a bag. All right, so which one is more? 100, 100, that doesn't help me any. Okay, so the greatest value in both numbers is the same. Three tens, two tens. Okay, so three is greater than two. So there's more crayons in the box. Number six, there are 308 books in the first room. 
there are 273 books in the second room. In which room are there fewer books? So we're comparing the number of books in each of the rooms, and we have to find the one that is fewer. So we want to know which one of those is a smaller number. Okay, 308. There aren't any tens, so we have no uh, one, uh, no ten runs, but we do have five, eight ones. All right, so there's 308. And in the second room, there are 273. All right, again, start by comparing the largest value in the number. Hundreds is the largest in both of them. 300, 200. This has 300, this has 200. So that means this one has more books, which makes this one have fewer books. Two is fewer than three. 200 is fewer than 300. So there's less in the second row. Right, page 100. <clears throat> there are 748 children at Dan's school. There are 651 children at Karen's school. There are 763 children at Jason's school. Which school has more than 759 children? Which one has more than 759? So let's just start with the 700s, right? Well, 600 is less than 700, right? So it can't be Karen's school. Right? Because 651 is less than 759. We want the one that has more. All right. So we need, now let's compare the five tens. Five tens, four tens. Well, four is less than five, so it can't be that one, right? So it's not Dan's school. Is six tens more than five tens? Yes. So, Jason's school. Because 748 is less than 759. All right, number eight. There are 136 crayons in a box. Use the digits 4, 1, and 2 to write a number that is greater than 136. Well, there's a couple of possibilities, right? Let's let's say that we have hundreds. Let's start with that the hundreds are the same in both. Well, so if we have 136 and we're going to use one as the hundreds, two would be less than three, right? So that's not greater than the three tens, but 142 is, right? That's one possibility. What if we had more hundreds than 100? Could I use 200? Sure. I could say 241. That's bigger than 136. Could I say 214? Sure. Could I use four in the hundred place? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because 400 is more than 100. Remember, we're comparing to 136. So I could also use 421. So any of those numbers work to give us a value greater than 136. Number nine, Becky has 134 stamps. Sarah has 129 stamps. Who has more stamps? <clears throat> so if we're comparing just... Who has more? Okay, so Becky has 134 and Sarah has 129. So we compare the hundreds, those are the same. 
but three tens is more than two tens. So Sarah, I mean, Becky has more scamps than Sarah. All right, then Sarah buys 10 more stamps. Now who has more? So Sarah had 129, and she buys 10 more. Well, this relates to our last lesson. We're only changing by adding 110. So two tens plus one more tens would be 139. All right. So now Sarah has 100, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now if we compare Becky and Sarah, Becky and Sarah both have the same 100. They both have the same three tens. Sarah has nine ones. Becky has four ones. So now Sarah would have And we're just going to draw the picture to confirm it. Becky, 134. And Sarah, 130. Nine. So in this one, we had to go to the ones place to find out which one had more, right? Because the hundreds were the same. The three tens were the same, but the ones, four, was smaller than nine. Okay. All right. So that's it for lesson 211, comparing numbers. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.